Good morning students. Up to last lecture, we have studied about the point that is the electromagnetic induction. Okay, that point we studied up to the last lecture. Okay, but some students comment me on this video that is whatever I studied there that is some in fast speed okay so now today i again explain you this concept okay so here in the electromagnetic concept we have to see a one thing that but simply here induction of electric current takes place or automatically induction of electric current takes place in this coil okay without connect any electrical supply okay by what magnetic field by simply changing magnetic field that is nothing but the electromagnetic field okay electromagnetic induction actually what happened in this topic i again explain you okay so we see today some slowly so here what happened one coil is there Okay, when electric conducting coil is there and we connect this conducting coil to the one battery. Okay, this is the positive and negative terminal of battery. So, electric current will pass through that coil. Okay, so this is the one coil that is we connect this coil to the electrical battery. Now here we consider another one coil okay here one electric coil is there and we connect this electrical coil to the one galvanometer okay actually remember what is the basic difference here okay this coil we connect to battery and this coil we connect directly to the galvanometer means here we not give any electrical connection to this coil okay this coil is connected to battery okay here we give some more electric connection but here look at uh, look at here we do not connect this coil to any electrical connection okay now what happened initially we have considered that case that this switch is off okay means electric current is not passing through this coil okay here again remember we connect galvanometer and i explain you working of galvanometer okay galvanometer is a device is used to measure electric current okay or to identify the electric current is a passing through circuit or not because it is very highly sensitive to electric current okay it is very small electric current in a range of milliampere okay if a very small range electric current is a pass through any electric circuit then it can very easily detect that current okay so here we connect only galvanometer so we have to see whether the electric current is a pass through that coil or not okay to checking that we have to connect here one galvanometer and this coil we have connect to battery okay so initially we have to consider case that electric current is not passing through this wire okay so if we see connect here galvanometer then galvanometer should reading in both sides okay so here is zero reading of galvanometer so it should reading in this direction as well as this direction also as the direction of current changes it is alternately direction of this knob is also change okay so that will be studied higher classes but still we have to remember here galvanometer is connect this is the zero reading at the middle of this galvanometer so initially electric current is not pass through this coil at that time what happen here galvanometer is also stable okay so all that scenario is looking have like this when we not start electric current through this wire okay so 
Now, what do we have to do? Now we have to start electric current through this coil. Okay? As we start electric current through this coil, at that time, when we start at very small instant initially, okay? As we turn on the switch of electric battery, at that time, we see deflection in this galvanometer. When, when we turn on the connection of this battery and current start to flow through this coil, okay? So that very small instant, what happened? It shows some more deflection and again come in its original position. Okay? Now, deflection in galvanometer takes place. It means what? Some hot electric current is a pass through this coil. Okay? Now, we see only this case initially. Okay? Suppose we pass this current for some time and again if we turn off that switch. Okay? When we turn off at that time, again we see some more reflection in this galvanometer. Okay? Means what at initially when we turn on and at the ending, at the time of turn off, in that two times we see what deflection in galvanometer. Okay? Means what happened here? Actually, here we not connect any electrical supply, still we show deflection in galvanometer. It means automatically some hot electric current is passed through this coil without connecting any electrical connection. But due to the current passing through this coil, some hot current is a pass here. Okay, so some hot is happened there. What is actually happen here that actually we are to see in this concept electromagnetic induction. But still one thing now we understood that automatically current pass through this coil also. Okay? Because here we not connect any electrical supply, still this galvanometer show deflection in it. Okay? So now what we have to do in the second time? We have to what? turn on electrical supply okay so the electric current now passing through this coil okay now what we have to do we have to start move this coil away from the this coil okay now this coil is here we have to move this coil away from this coil okay now what happened initially now this current is a flow through this coil. Now we have to move this coil away from the this first coil. Okay. So here current is passing through this coil and it start motion of this second coil. Okay. As we start move this coil away from this first coil, then we will see that what as we move away from the first coil we will see deflection in this galvanometer okay suppose now we move this coil up to this position and we come here okay now our coil is came here okay so show that now we are here okay so when we are in motion okay when our motion is continuous during that much path we see reflection okay when we see reflection up to that much time when this coil is in motion okay now we are come here and we stop okay as we stop again this galvanometer show us zero reading okay look at what changes happen here as we move this coil from one point to another point at that time throughout the motion when this coil is in motion at that time we will see deflection in galvanometer but as we stop at one particular point at that time what happened again we see zero reading is here means current is not passing through that coil when it stop when this coil is in motion at that time we see 
deflection means current is flowing to that point but when we stop at that time current is not passing through that coil okay so now again second thing we have to do that is what now in first case we go away now we have to move towards this point this second case also we have to see okay so what happen here again as we start to move initially we are at rest okay so we see zero reading but as we start motion of this coil towards this coil through which electric current is passing okay so as we start motion towards this coil at that time again we see deflection in this galvanometer okay we see this deflection in galvanometer till we are in motion okay again suppose we are stop here okay we are move this coil up here and we stop here as we stops as our motion is stops what happen again hot galvanometer show zero reading okay means we are move away from galvan this first coil then also we see deflection means current is flowing through this coil and stop here as we stop again current through this coil is stops it show zero reading okay now if we move towards this coil again throughout the motion we see deflection okay up to that much time when we are in motion up to that much time we see the deflection in galvanometer but when we stop again here okay then again what happen we see zero deflection means current is not passing through that coil okay so now two three cases we are studied here first case is suppose this coil is steady and initially we turn on electric current at that time for very small instant we see deflection and second when we turn off electric current at that time for very small instant again we see some very small deflection in this galvanometer means at the time of turn on and turn off we see deflection means at that small instant electric current is passing through that coil okay now what happen here in second case okay as we move away from the this coil okay through which electric current is passing as we move this coil away from that coil at that time through our the motion what happen we see deflection in galvanometer and at one particular position suppose we stop here when we stop then we see zero reading means current is not passing through that coil so when we are go away at that time current is passing but when we stop at that time current is not pass through here okay and third case when we move this coil towards this first coil then again what happen we see deflection in galvanometer throughout the motion okay so when we stop here again we see zero reading okay means we see the current at the time of turn off battery or turn off okay or or what if you move away or toward this coil but if this coil is steady okay here here or here when this coil is remain steady at that time what happen current is not pass through this coil means here in this condition this steady condition and when we move here and stop here again we see galvanometer reading it shows zero reading okay but we are in motion or here in case turn on and turn off at that situation we see only deflection okay so simply what happen due to this coil what happen electricity induced in this coil okay actually due to the effect of current passing through this coil automatically electricity induced in this coil 
because here we not give any electrical connection still we see deflection in galvanometer okay so here automatically electrical electricity is induced here when we turn and turn off here or we are in motion away from this coil or we are in motion toward this coil okay so such a way that what happen automatically electricity is induced in this coil due to this coil due to this coil and this concept is simply called as electromagnetic induction okay so faraday actually explained this concept in his law that is the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction that we have to see okay so if faraday explain this concept actually what happened here okay we know this is the electric conductor and electric current is passing through this coil so we know as electric current passing through conductor then magnetic field is generated around this conductor okay what magnetic field is generated around this electrical conductor okay so what we have to do actually here here magnetic field is present okay so we move this coil in magnetic field okay so initially when this electric current is turn off at that time magnetic field is not produced okay means here not magnetic field present but initially we turn on electric current at that time somewhat magnetic field is present here around this coil so due to that we see somewhat deflection now this magnetic field remains constant till electric current is passing but when we turn off electric current at that time again this magnetic field disappear okay so due to the disappear of this magnetic field again we see deflection okay now in second case if we move away from the this coil at that time what happen if we carefully observe the spacing between this line is increases okay look at the spacing goes on increases look at here is spacing is how much small spacing between two lines of magnetic field okay but now as we go away from the this coil at that time one thing we understood that this spacing goes on increasing it means magnetic field become weak as we go away from this coil so as we move this coil away from this first coil at that time continuously in each position what happen magnetic field changes intensity of magnetic field goes on changes as we go away from this coil okay because spacing between two line of force are increasing it means field strength decreases and we move this coil away it means that we move that coil in changing magnetic field or we can say varying magnetic field okay so due to the motion of this conductor in the varying magnetic field what happen electricity is generate here okay now again in case we move toward this coil again here what happen spacing become close and close it means that strain become strong okay so as we move toward this coil it means strain continuously goes on increasing here also when we move in this side again strength of magnetic field here again goes on changing okay so such a way that what happen magnetic field again change when we move towards the coil okay so such a way that when it is a steady now what when it is a steady at that time this magnetic field remain constant okay so when magnetic field remain constant then the current is not passing through conductor okay but when we move it in the varying magnetic field 
changing magnetic field and that time what happen we see the electric current passing through this conductor this is nothing but the faraday's law faraday's law of electromagnetic induction tells us that when we move an electric conductor in varying or changing magnetic field at that time automatically electrical current is induced in that particular conductor okay so that is the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction okay so such a way that we have to understood that when magnetic field is changing and we move electric current in that changing magnetic field then and then electric current is generated here if you place here then only initially because initially it came in magnetic field at that time you see some small deflection but when we place at one position at that time this magnetic field remain constant and when we turn off this electrical con connection at that time this magnetic field is disappear at that time what happen changing magnetic field takes place that is why we see when on and off but when we move at that time continuously magnetic field goes on changing due to that continuously we see deflection in galvanometer mean continuously electricity is induced in this coil this is nothing but the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction okay that much part now you have to see carefully the remaining part will be seen tomorrow's lecture thank you